Here's Chief Meteorologist Gannon Medwick with your first alert forecast. Here at 612 on a Friday. Awesome to have you alongside your odds for travel hazards forecast focus in this half hour of Carolina in the morning. NC 410 through Bladen and Columbus counties from Dublin, Bladenboro, south to Chadburn and Tabor City. Get some of that water down. No more water falling from the sky this morning or manifesting in any fog. We'll confirm that with the visibility map coming up. The type of morning where a hot cup of coffee just hits a little extra good, especially after the week we've had. But there's cool temperatures from front door to car door. You may find a little dew on your windshield. Let's get you outside with your West Shore home. First alert sky cam from Elizabethtown, specifically Broad Street Business 87 looking beautiful between Poplar and MLK. Port City looking gorgeous along the river and the bridge looking south. The visibility fantastic here from the Murkison building as skies brighten up ahead of sunrise at the bottom of the hour. It is clear 62, a light north breeze and the dew point in the 50s, usually in August and July. Before this September 1st, we have dew points in the 70s, so it's lighter, crisp air. And in some cases, the actual air temperature down into the 50s. Keenansville, I'm checking you out at 58. Uh, but most places stepping outside into the lower 60s. That's pretty good, too. There's that visibility map. Nice box to check. Radar scan. Check. Clear, especially compared to 24 hours ago. We had some tropical storm force rain bands. Near the landfall point of Idalia, there are some pop-up showers and storms. North Florida, South Georgia, they shouldn't touch us. Your rainfall tracker looking back at Idalia for ILM, five and a half inches. Of course, tallies variable across the Cape Fear region, some places a little less, some places upwards of six to ten. For August at ILM, just shy of ten inches of rain. That's a little surplus. And on the year, 42 and change. That's a little surplus. We're not adding anything to the gauge today. Sunshine. Pleasant breezes and temperatures. Let's articulate those hour by hour for you. And yesterday's wind gusts in the 30s, 40s, locally 50s miles an hour to start. Nowhere near that today, of course. Let's help you hit the sand and the surf. The waves settling a little bit, but still a moderate risk of rip currents in that 83 degree surf. We'll showcase that momentarily, get you offshore with a small craft advisory, kind of like a legacy of the recent passage of Idalia to tell you about. Upcoming high tides on your screen still have a chance to sponsor at least a little nuisance flooding because of the recent full moon still in one of those king tide events. And there's your yellow flags for east and south facing beaches today. That's how I see it mostly. Could be some green ones too mixing in over Labor Day weekend. Keep it safe in the surf. Speaking of Labor Day Monday, it's housed front and center in your seven day planning forecast on your screen and always available in a trending article at WECT.com. What do you want to do outside? Cool weather fans, enjoy the weekend mornings. If you like it hot, we get back there in the early parts of next week. And Bill, your muggy meter, your frizz factor, down into the 50s with those dew points a lot of the time going into this weekend is back to the muggies next week. Do want to tell you about that. And now back to you.